What's in my pocket? Story by Todd Key, artwork by Steve Ryder. I was playing outside at a quarter past three when I heard my mom shouting and calling for me. She seemed in a tizzy, her left eyelid twitched, so I knew I should listen to the sentence she pitched. I'm washing all clothing, she said with a glance. That includes what you're wearing, so give me those pants. My pants are like new. They're not dirty or rotten. Why, they've barely conformed to the curves of my bottom. She then spoke rather slowly, my full name she did mention, which my mom only does when she wants my attention. Darius McDougal McDirty McBean, those pants are so foul they make a pigsty look clean. And the smell, oh my word, from right here I suppose, I could melt all the hair breathing in through my nose. Now go to your room and remove them, my dear. Empty your pockets, then bring them back here. Empty my pockets, that's easy enough. So I stomped to my room in a slight angered huff. The door shut behind me and I grumbled again. Then I sighed a great sigh and plunged my hand in. Down into my pockets past fibers of cotton, straining to reach the crease at the bottom. The back ones were empty, so to the front right, but the left one held objects concealed from my sight. I pulled out some string, three rocks and a nickel, then out came a spool and a lint-covered pickle. A marble, a magnet, five slices of cheese, then a dusty bandana that launched a great sneeze. Ah! Uh, uh, ah! <gasps> I thought I was done when I pulled out a locket, then I felt something move and gasp. <gasps> What's in my pocket? It felt rather weird, and when I pulled it got stuck, so I tugged on it harder and out popped a duck. A duck, then three ducklings? Why, this is absurd. Why would my pants be the nest for a bird? I reached in again and felt something new, a plant of some kind, and it grew, and it grew. It grew from a pot, it grew to the ceiling, it grew till I grabbed the next thing I was feeling. Five monkeys, two bats, a lobster, a new, each of these deep from my pocket I drew. The room became filled with more livestock than Noah, with a rhino, giraffe, and a 20-foot boa. Three penguins who juggled, a goat with a beard, a goose on a moose, and then things got weird. An Elvis, a Lincoln, Attila the Hun, a NASA explorer, Babe Ruth, and a nun. From where are they coming? How are they fitting? Next out came a beast with four arms who was knitting. Darius McDougal McDirty McBean, your pants have a date with the washing machine. It's been 20 minutes. What's taking so long? I said. Give me a minute. Then I pulled out a... That's got to be all. That's got to be it. Surely there's no other thing that could fit. But a last thing came out, a wrapped fortune cookie, which I decided to open to have a quick looky. I unwrapped the paper, raised it up to my head, to where I could see it and reveal what it said. Something big is about to come your way. I figured the message might give me a clue to explain all the weirdness in this wall to wall.
Darius McDougall, you're grounded, young man, unless those trousers I hold in the palm of my hand. She's gonna start counting. I need some assistance instead of this room filled with wanton resistance. Houston, we have a problem. One, two, three. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, Darius, now go grab the dustpan and go grab the broom. Then, Darius, make a duggle. Clean up your room. The end. The end in the other room.